Right, so let's be honest, the base which I made in part one, it kind of sucked. And as far as I know, the servers have been reset again. I mean, that kind of looks like my base up there, so I'm not 100% sure if that's the one which I made in part one. I'll check in a second. Um, but I think I'm going to make a lovely fresh one. Obviously, the one which I overtook was overtook, you know. I killed the guy inside it, and I made it my base. So it wasn't exactly the base which I really was dreaming of. So I'm going to go ahead, get some wood from these piles over here, and go build a house of my own. And hopefully, in fact, I'm pretty sure in this part, I am going to go ahead and get a bed. You also notice on my hot bar, I've got an M4, I've also got a pistol. Um, those are things which I have got over a period of time, so I can go ahead and defend myself a lot better than obviously the hatchet. So let's go show you guys here in a second once I've got all this wood. Come on, hurry up, wood. There we go. You'll see the M4, it's pretty much the best weapon in the game right now. Obviously, you can get red dot attachments, you can get silencers, you can get flashlights, you can get an ACOG sight from what I've heard. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the best weapon in the game. And also for my secondary, I've got a pistol as well. So. I think for now I just want to go gather some more wood, build a decent house for the time being, get some more cloth. You'll see I've already got seven cloth, so I'm not too far away from the 20 I need for the sleeping bag. And then I'll finally have a house which I can call my own. I did actually stream yesterday and we did make a subscriber kind of house. You'll see over in this direction. I think it's just over this hill here. Where is it? That was for base. I could actually take over this base because it's really not too secure. But that house right there is for subscriber base. But yeah. I might go check out if there's anyone over there, but I should be good for defense. I'm just going to gather some resources, and then I'll start building my new house. So, actually, it looks like this is my base, and someone's infested it with a shit ton of uh, boxes, and they've kind of made it their own house. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I can't open up these doors because I didn't make these myself. But, yeah, someone's took over my base. That's really nice. I could actually just build on top of this base. I'm kind of considering it, because I can destroy these doors if you just go ahead and, uh, in fact, I'll show you guys this quickly. If you left-click just these wood barricades for a short amount of time, you can break them. Doors are a different matter. It takes, like, from what I've heard, 250 hits to destroy a door. But I should be able to destroy this in about 10 or so hits. Let's just see how long it takes. There we go, we destroyed that, but there's also a door on the outside. I'm not using this base. Yeah, that's not a good idea. But that is indeed my old base. So I think I'm going to put mine somewhere in this area, because obviously it's still close to a factory just over there. And I've got 240 wood, so I think I've got an idea of what my base is going to look like for the start. It's going to be very basic, and then over time I'm going to build on where I just need to make it secure. So, you know, people can't just jump inside my base, and then I can expand... Uh, later in the process of making it. Also, I was wondering, does anyone know what these actually do? Armor part 4 and armor part 3. I mean, I guess you probably don't unless you play the game, but for us who do play the game, what the hell do we do? Or is there even anything you can do with them? I killed some guy and found him. I've, I've never seen him before. I've never seen Kevlar uh, armor until recently as well. That's really rare as well. But yeah, these armor parts, what the hell do we do? Please tell me. If you don't know, then ah oh well, but maybe someone knows. But for now, I'm just going to go get some more wood from piles over there. And build my base, maybe over on that hill over there, actually. There's a shit ton of piles over here, though, so I should be good for that. So for now, I'm just going to build four wooden foundations, which are going to make... So for now, I'm just going to build four wooden foundations, and I'm just going to make a square house for the time being with two doorways in it. And one of the doorways is going to lead just outside, so I can go in and out of it very easily. And the other doorway is going to be future expanded into an extra two foundations, which will lead you up the stairs kind of thing. So then I'll have two floors, or maybe more than two floors, I'm not sure. But I just want to make, you know, the bottom floor secure before I do make anything other than that. And you can see it costs a metric shit ton to make foundations, which is why I'm doing that. Instead of, you know, building a house, and someone comes over and murders me, and then I lose my house. Like that happened to a guy that asked all the house from before. It's not a good idea. Alright, there we go. I've got foundations. And I am going to be killing a lot of people probably in this part. It's just right now I'm kind of out of whip. Once I've got a bed down, I'm going to go um, over this direction, which is where most people build the houses. Go raid some houses um, and hopefully get some good loot out of that. But of course, I do need a sleeping bag before I do that, really. So now I need to decide where exactly I want to actually put my foundations. I think I might just put it on top of this hill over here. Let's have a quick look what we've got right on top of here. Obviously, there's already a house over here to my left, which was my old house. Um, that one right there. So, I'm not really 100% sure on I'm putting on the hill. But I just need to find some kind of flat area up on a raised position. So, that way I can uh, scout down the valley and whatnot as well. I think this area right here doesn't look too bad. So, I think I might just build it right here. Yeah, I'm just going to build it right here. I want to see what happens. Let's go ahead and get our foundations out. And then we can start building it. I think around about here should be okay. Let's go ahead and put four of these foundations down, just like that. And then on top of this, we're going to build the two doorways. I think I'll have the doorway which is going to go up the stairs this way, and the other doorway right here, which will be the entrance and exit. So I just need to go ahead and build two doorways and how many windows? Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six windows as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and build two of those. 
Right, so, oh, I've already got a doorway as well. That was kind of stupid, but yeah. Uh, I actually also need to build the pillar, so then I can put those around the edge. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, eight or so of those. So I'll go ahead and craft eight of those, and those don't take too long to craft. So then, of course, I can put a ceiling up on it and whatnot. Looking pretty clear so far as well. Considering there's a hundred people on a server, it's kind of weird to look over and to see nothing at all. But like I said, once I head in that direction, I will see a lot of people over there. And maybe in the factory area as well, but I haven't heard any gunshots or anything like that. Which is kind of weird. Right, there we go. I've got our eight pillars done, so I'm going to go ahead and place these around the edge of my house. So, there we go. Obviously, before I didn't really build my house from scratch, it's a bit different. Building it like this, because it costs a lot more resources, instead of stealing it from someone else. And, there we go. I've got just enough pillars. And then we're going to go ahead and put a doorway here. And... There we go, and a doorway right here, and then the rest of them are going to be windows, and yeah, I think I should look pretty good. It might be a bit weird since this is kind of going in the mountain, but in fact, I think I'm going to have a stairs over here. That seems like a better idea, and by the way, you scroll to rotate objects if anyone's wondering. So I'm going to go ahead and build six windows. I'm actually, oh god, I'm out of resources already. That's not good. You can't actually move while crafting, it's just very slow, so I'm going to start heading over towards that um, wood stack, which you might be able to see in front of me, and start getting some more wood for my house as well. And once I've got it completely secure, I'm going to put down some wooden storage boxes, keep it in a lovely safe location in the middle of the house so that way it doesn't get stolen from like I did last time. And then I'm pretty much good to go move out once I've got the house lovely and secure. And then I'm going to go towards the area, which I said before, this way. And not only can I find a lot of people over there, but also the animals. There's no animals which spawn around this area because there's some radiation and whatnot around it. So I can find some animals for the cloth over in that direction. And I can actually go ahead and craft some ammo as well once I'm done with that as well. You can see I've got a lot of gunpowder and I've also got a lot of metal fragments. And that's all I need to build V556 ammo. Right, so I've got most of my windows now. In fact, I think I've got all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and place those quickly. Go ahead and put all of them down here. And I've almost got enough to craft the, the doorways as well. You can see I'm crafting... Uh, I'm not sure actually how many. I think seven doorways right now. And that will cover seven of my entrances. And then I'll just have one more door to do. And then the house is pretty much secure. Of course, I need the ceiling as well. Past that as well. And eventually the ceiling will act as like an area which I can stand up on top of once I've got a stairway up over here as well. Right, so I've got all the doors I need now. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my camping fire right there so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. And I can go ahead and put down all my doors as well while I'm crafting the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these doors down. Was that a terrible placement? I, don't know. I thought you could see through the, the thing there. I'm going to go ahead and put the door here. Then you can actually get through the front door. Uh, put one right there. Put one right there. By the way, if anyone's wondering why I'm using these, um, you know, the weird combination of windows and doors, it's for two reasons. It's so you can open and close this, so then the door, I mean, the window is, you know, a window which can open and close, so I can go ahead and shoot out of it. And also because if you just use a normal, um, a normal wall, which I've actually got one of right here. You can glitch your rules extremely easily, so you kind of want to avoid them as much as you can. All right, so now I've got my final door, and boom, I've got a complete house now. It's pretty cool. It's not really that cool, but you know, at least it's my own house instead of stealing that other one from someone else. Um, now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get a pillar, which I can go ahead and craft like that. Put one in the middle, then put the four ceilings up on top, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and put that down there. Beautiful, and then get the four roofs, which I think cost quite a lot. Yeah, oh god. Well, this costs a lot more than I thought it did. That's going to take quite a while to craft as well. So I need to get some more wood before I can go ahead and make a final ceiling. And then I'm going to have some storage boxes here, which I'm going to put my guns in. And then go for an adventure with my pistol, maybe. And go kill some people. Alright, there we go. We've got our three ceilings down. So I have to go ahead and place these down quickly. Just like that. And that way no one can obviously jump inside. So the house is looking pretty decent right now. Eventually I'm going to have it so it's going to be three pillars. One here, one here, and one here with foundations here. So then we're going to have a kind of balcony area over the top. And that's going to help look down the hill and help look over the other side as well. And obviously for the doorway on the other side, like I mentioned before. Going to have some foundations here and here. Who's this guy? Yeah, I don't like this guy. Jesus Christ, that was actually fucking pretty close. Oh my god, that was scary. Okay, whatever. This guy actually had some pretty decent stuff. Oh god, I was actually waiting for someone to come over, so I thought it was that guy, but it wasn't, so yeah, I'm good to go. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm going to have um, the stairway up here as well, which links you to the second floor, and we can make more floors than just two if we do so desire. Um, but we'll just see once I've got all that done, but I'm going to go ahead and take this guy's stuff, 
and put this inside my storage box, which I'll be making in a second. So this is actually the house which I made yesterday in a stream with some subscribers. You can see it's a pretty nice house. I was considering actually taking it over. It's got three different levels. It's got some storage boxes here, some more over here, and one right in this corner here. But it's kind of got a glaring issue, one which I talked about before, being able to go straight through these wooden walls just like that. It's kind of weird, but you can crouch straight through the corner of these wooden walls. I think you can do it here. Yeah, you can do it in both the corners. It doesn't take any real skill. And that way, obviously, people can get straight in our home and then murder us all. So I kind of didn't want to take it over because of that, which is why, of course, I did make my new house, which is just on this hill over here. I've also got Norton right here. He was actually one of the guys who helped out with this house yesterday, and he's going to be helping me out with my new house very soon as well. So, yeah. Two men should be able to hopefully make a much better house than one. And I'm going to get him a gun as well. So that way we're going to go hunt for the sleeping bags. We should be able to do that a lot easier. It is really hard to survive on your own on this. So having two people is going to be a really big deal. Oh, I see a person running over to our house. I'm going to go murder him quickly. Because we need the cloth. Anyone who's this far out is probably going to have some decent gear. Since it does take about 10 minutes to walk over here. Let's see. Where are you, sir? Shit, he's a zigzagger. There we go. Let's see, what did he have? <sighs> Nothing at all. Very sad. I think it's actually bugged right now, so like when you when people have got sulfur ore and metal ore on them, it doesn't actually give you all of the ore which we've got. It only gives you like one. I don't know why, but like no one would ever have one of each of us on them, so it's a bit weird, but yeah. Alright, so I'm just getting the final seal now. I'm gonna put down a storage box as well, and then we're gonna go to a factory and get some food and other stuff. We should be good. And there's probably gonna be people over there as well as all people at the factory. Alright. There we go, there's the final ceiling and build a storage box quickly so I can keep all my safe things in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some wood in here as well. And all of my ore, ooh, not sulfur, but metal ore. And I can ignite it, and that will get me some metal fragments when we come back. And there's a storage box as well. Go ahead and put that right there. And I'm going to go put my M4 in there. You should probably keep the cloth inside there as well, so we can eventually use that for the beds. And ignite that again. There we go. So I think no one's got a shotgun as well, so it should be good to go. I uh, haven't, of course, put everything inside the box, but we'll get some more wood on the way there and the way back. So then we can make some more wooden boxes on the way well, when we're back. And then we'll probably make the second level very soon as well, once we've got enough wood for that too. Looks like someone's trying to board up the factory. Oh, we've got a ramp over here as well. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Let's go get the loot from over here. Bandages. You got any food? Oh, yeah. There we go. See, I'm pretty low food, so if I eat that, it's going to be about 200 food. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, 200, okay. Let's see if there's anyone here at all then. Yeah, there's someone in front of us. In this house. Shit. I just tagged them. Oh my god. Yeah, this place is not safe. You got any medicates? Did you get them? Oh my god. I hear him moving again. I don't like it here. Just hold out here. I hear him walking. Did, uh, have you got any medicates, Norton? I'm kind of low. If you've only got one, that's okay, but yeah. Bandage? Okay, thanks. Heal zero health. Super cool. Coming. He's still inside. So there's a guy inside the house. Watch out. There's a guy inside the house still. And I think there's a guy on the floor as well. Yeah, there's a guy still inside the house. Yeah, there's a guy still inside the house up, up on the floor. We need to get out of here. Yeah, he's still up inside the house. I see him. Headshot. I think it's two headshots of a pistol. I know, and I'm just gonna go try to check the outskirts and just get out of here because this is way too risky. There's more people here than I expected. I'm gonna go get some bits and bobs and get out. Flare, god damn it. 
Uh, do, do you want to go towards the fresh spawn kind of area? Where everyone's got all their houses and go try to kill some people over there, get some cloth and whatnot. And maybe get some food off some dead bodies. Because I'm, I'm very low food again. See, this is a problem over here. You can see people have boarded up these houses and that's where all the loot is. So we can't get anything from here. Oh, this guy's still there as well. Hit him. He's got a pistol now, at least not an M4, which I think is what he had before. Is that you? Oh, is that you beside the deer? Or not? Okay, okay. If we get this deer, then that'll be good, so I can build a thing with Bob. Fuck you, deer. Alright, drop some food, please. Back, we'll get some food from this as well. Right, I've got a bit of food now, I guess. No, uh, yeah, yeah, look, let's go home and cook it, actually, good idea. Alright, if you can just put the, the food on the fire and we'll just sit here for a while, that'd be cool. I'll go ahead and put some more food in the fireplace itself. Oh, okay, you're putting it in there. Um, something which I haven't talked about as well, but lots of people have asked me about, the attachment system, how exactly it works. Basically, when you first craft a weapon, you'll have a random chance of having um, attachment slots in your weapon. You can see this one doesn't ha actually have any. Uh, the attachment slots, if you do get them, are white outline of squares. So if I craft a pistol right now, I could get a pistol with like three outline squares, which means I've got three places to attach things to my weapon. Um, and once you've got that, you can go ahead and find attachments in the factory, which you can then reverse engineer. Like you can see right here, I've got a holo set which I found in the factory, then reverse engineered it. And then you can craft them normally. And you just drag and drop those on your weapons, and boom, you've got an attachment. And obviously if it's a, an attachment which is occupied, it will just be a full white square. So that is how the attachment system does work. You can find ACOGs, you can find flashlights, you can find the holo set, obviously. You can find a sound set, there's a lot of stuff you can find. And they are extremely rare, and you only find them in the factory as far as I know, so... Some pretty cool stuff to go ahead and work towards. We've actually got enough cloth to build a sleeping bag now, so I'm going to go ahead and build that as well. But yeah, it's just a random chance when you do craft them to get them. Let's see what uh, Norton said. Damn, I'm taking damage from hunger now. Yeah, we're really need to get some more food as well. I'm building a sleeping bag quickly. And yeah, I'm going to build a storage box as well. But we'll just put all our valuables in here. And if we do die of, you know, food, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll spawn back here. Um, also, do you have a sleeping bag inside your house, which you might want to bring up, or... You just said your house is just near this one, so I guess it's not too big of a deal if you've already got one. But I'm not sure if you do have one. Let's go ahead and get a sleeping bag, though, and put that... I'm going to put it near a fire, just in case someone bugs you or something and gets it through the wall. Okay, well, if you already got one, that's cool, then. I'm going to go ahead and make another... Another two storage boxes before we leave, and we'll put some value wheels in there as well. Since I do have a lot of stuff, which I need to drop off, really. And I should have a lot of metal fragments inside here, inside the fireplace as well. And now we've got some cooked fillets as well, which I'm going to go ahead and eat. Oh god, that gives me a lot of food. Yeah, it's a lot of food, okay. Yeah, if you just eat the off ones then, we should have enough for both of us. Got a lot of metal fragments as well, I'll go ahead and take those out. Drop your ore inside there as well if you haven't already. Let's see, all my things almost crafted beyond deed. Um, but it was a lot of fun as well, like I mentioned before, making the subscriber a little fortification. We had about 10 people running around and... If it was like some way to talk in game, it would be really awesome for this game, which I'm sure it'll happen eventually in some form. Um, but yeah, going around with a bunch of people is a lot more fun than being on your own. Right, there are my two storage boxes as well, so let's go ahead and put those down. Just like that. Also, I mean, obviously from my channel normally I do DZ, but are you guys interested in, you know, unedited, well not unedited, but stuff like base building, or is it only about action? Like, just tell me what you guys like to see. Obviously a lot of this has been a lot of base building, I have had some... Bits and bobs of action, but yeah. I should really stop saying bits and bobs. I say it way too much. But yeah, if you guys uh, don't mind base building as well, then obviously I can leave those parts in as well. Uh, since we do have some pretty cool plans for our base eventually. Let's go ahead and put some more stuff inside here, though, before we do leave. Eventually we'll have these, you know, coordinated some way. But for now, we'll just dump everything we've got inside them, I guess. Let's put our cloth inside there as well. Right, I'm pretty much good to go, though. You are good to go, Norton, as well. 